most of us know what should we do in order to change our life. And the problem is never that we don't know what's the path. The problem is always we never have the dedication to start. You don't really need another internet guru to tell you to wake up at 5 a.m. to do some exercise and eat healthy. But the question is why concentrate or start doing something we're supposed to is so hard. Just like last time, you're so ready to read the book, but within the five minutes, you're getting bored and go on your phone. When you face that issue, you start searching all those productivities, lifestyle YouTuber, I try to tell you how to stop procrastinating. Nowadays, procrastination, just by talking about a tag in your videos, has become a one of the number one goldmine for all the experts. But this is the exactly reason why most of them probably are wrong. All the solution that on the mass market, they talk about dopamine, they talk about rules or habits, changing habits. They all have a one premise. All those YouTubers, gurus, experts believe that animal is chasing the pleasure, avoid the pain. And lots of people even put the equal sign between desire and the pleasure. And based on that premise, they start designing a system, a protocol teach you how to make learning difficult thing more fun and make your phone more boring. The reality is our motivations to do something and the pleasure of it is a two separate thing. In fact, they even use different chemicals in different part of your brain. University of Michigan and University of Connecticut both have experiment. They test with the large lab rats. They find out that when they reduce the dopamine level or motivation factor in their brain, it wouldn't change the pleasure of them towards certain things. Even more, sometimes the motivation of the rats, when they generate lots of chemical, which is dopamine, will make them numb in emotions. They wouldn't be able to experience pleasure. So if it's not pleasure that drove in us into certain things, so what keep people motivated? And on another hand, if we know certain thing is really beneficial for ourselves, why we don't have a motivation for it? We start procrastinating to do the thing that generate the real value for ourselves. Pleasure is actually come from our emotional part of the brain, right? Last time you hang out with your friend, that kind of happiness is pleasure. Emotional system is the first developed judgment system for lots of animals. They basically said, I like this or I don't. For example, when you feel fear, it means I don't like this, this is gonna harm me. If I feel pleasure, it means this is probably good for me. But only know what's right, what's wrong, is not enough for animal or human to survive. Because at one time, we only can deal with one thing. So purity, is an issue for us. Just like when you see a tiger in the woods, running is a such unpleasant stuff for humans because it damages your muscle, it don't save your energy. But when it's needed, you have the desire to run away regardless how your emotion feel. So how much desire you will have for certain thing, it decides your priority or what serves the best for you right now. Right now, I really, really need to use my phone. It is your brain, after calculated, have a conclusion that use phone is more needed than reading book. Lots of people online, when they talk about like brain chemical, like dopamine, they think dopamine is a pleasure molecule. But in reality, dopamine is actually a desire molecule. If you think about it, this actually makes sense. If animal really just driven by pleasure, we will see a lost animal or human just gonna waste their energy on something pleasurable and forget about what's most needed. Just like you have a hard time to imagine, if a person is drowning, they have a desire to breathe. But because the phone is so pleasure, they just start going on their phone and they drown. That just don't make sense. That's the reason why I say a lot of YouTubers, they provide you solution for procrastinating, it don't really work because that's the scenario that they pose to you. And based on that scenario, they give you the solutions. And we even have a study done on human brain when we have a birth. Giving birth to a baby is extremely painful, but people have a loss of desire molecule, dopamine in their body when they're doing such a behavior. If we try to avoid that pain, 
human will not survive till today. And another example can exactly demonstrate this is for drug addict, what happened to their brain. When a person is using cocaine, the cocaine basically hijack the desire circuits of your brain. And it keeps sending the wrong signal that cocaine is what I most needed right now. After a long term use, if you put them on the scanner, you will see that cocaine no longer brings down pleasure or excitement. But without cocaine, the person's brain starts to panic. They think they're about to die because they cannot do the thing that they needed the most. In another term, that drugs hijack your brain. Your eye, your body can only sense what is going on. Even then, you rationally know this is not right, but you just can't stop chasing for the drug. Just like someone hijack a plane, they threaten them that if you don't do whatever I said, I just gonna shoot you in the head. That's what drug is doing to our brain. But addiction to video game or your phone is a different type of addictions. It's addiction that after calculations of your brain that they have the conclusion that video game and the phone is what I needed right now in order for me to survive. Until this part of the video, I think we already can answer the question we raised in the beginning. Why we not doing something that we supposed to do? Because your rational part of your brain, it is not the parts that gave you motivation and the desire. And even then, you know, reading books, have better habits, wake up early, go to gym, is beneficial for you. But that is not what you needed right now after your brain calculations. So when we go on our phone, we play video game, we get intrigued. What's the calculation is our brain doing that have the conclusion that this is what I need right now? And can we reverse engineer of this process to build a system that actually motivate us towards something that we actually want to do. We will cover that topic probably in the future. We're gonna make another specific videos, but that's all for today. Thank you so much. Stick to the end. My name is Paul. I'll see you next time.